I've had a few thoughts recently, and this has to do with a couple arguments I've gotten into, you know, mostly, you know, friendly arguments. I think that there are some, some misconceptions out there about what it means for a game to be pay to win. Now, a lot of people, they think having the option to pay past some of the drudgery in a game, like questing up a character or, you know, having a higher drop rate for some of the pieces of gear that would otherwise take months to farm, you know, a lot of people, they think that's pay to win, right? That is, you know, paying past some of the environment aspects of the game. Um, you know, no matter what the game is, no matter what, what, what game we're talking about, it has to have a way of monetization. And one thing I've noticed about this community in general, I'm not trying to bash everyone. This is just one of y'all's shortcomings. Y'all complain every darn time, every single time, um, Kings all ask you for a little bit of money, you know, like 10, $10, like seriously, guys, like. $10 a month. That is not a whole lot of money for anyone with any type of job. I could be flipping burgers at McDonald's and I would not complain at $10 a month. That is by no means unreasonable for a game like this, okay? But anyway, back to the point. Pay to win. Is that pay to win? Um, no, not really. Uh, what, what pay to win is, is, is basically having an extravagant advantage for paying a bunch of money um, in a competitive environment. Now, an example of this would be, you know, like in, in Battlefield Heroes, which is a game that I, you know, played as a kid. You used to be able to buy, like, these these powder kegs and stuff like that for hundreds of dollars you could throw under a car and blow everyone up with, you know? Um, there are, like, a lot of overpowered weapons. The best guns in that game, you had to pay actual money. You had to pay a lot of it. And it was just a ridiculous... Um, it, it, it was just a ridiculous way to give people a competitive advantage. That is what pay to win means. Paying past the drudgery is not pay to win. That just allows people from a different demographic who are busier and prefer to just spend money in order to bypass drudgery. That's all it is. Now, they'll be less involved in the game. There's nothing wrong with that. Some people make their contributions in an MMO... By being more involved, other people who have less time, yet they want an involved environment where they're not necessarily involved all the time, they contribute by paying money. And that allows the service to keep running. That feeds, you know, the people who are working on the game and, you know, provides the money for, you know, the company itself so that they're, you know, incentivized to make the game. Okay? It's not pay to win. Pay to win is 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 a problem, you know. It's like what I just described right there. And uh, whoever that is, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Brith Vibala, um, happen to be making a video right now. That's still turned on, but um, you know, I think adding more second chance chests and having level potions would encourage a lot of players and and. and and ways to, of course, you know, travel through the game faster. Like if, for example, I'm speeding up the video right now, or at least of my pirate footage, but there's basically a uh, program you can get called Cheat Engine, right? That'll speed up the game for you as well, right? Now, I'm not saying do download Cheat Engine or anything or use it, right? It's against TOS, right? You, you, can't, you can't be doing that. But uh, to be honest, it's rather harmless. Right? It does nothing negative to the players around. Um, I really think that having something like that built into the game that allows people to speed around, or having more teleporters, you know, kind of like the stagecoaches in, in Cool Ranch, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, simply being able to buy a character, you know, from King's Isle themselves, instead of having to quest through the game. Okay? Because not everyone wants to experience the story first you know like in league of legends for example you know no one who's who's you know really into the league of legends lore started out by reading a book about league of legends or questing through a monotonous game with plenty of defeat and collect quests no 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 they played a character in league of legends on summoner's rift with their buddies 
where they experience the kit of the character, meaning their abilities and the way that th that particular piece moves on the board, okay? That's why they care about the lore now. So, um, I think in order to appeal to that group of people, um, uh, that that's really, you know, one option I, I think that, that really should be provided. Like, a lot of my buddies, they won't play this game. Why? Because it takes forever for them to do all the quests in this game. Okay, but if they were allowed to just step in and, and PvP right away, then sure, they, they would be down to play this game. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that our, that our player base would, you know, increase by a very significant amount if they're allowed to bypass the drudgery by paying some money. Like, most of the people I know now, especially since I've stepped away from this game for a little while, um, they're busy people. They don't have a lot of time to, to farm for an item for months on end, and they want to be competitive right away. So, something for y'all to consider. I realize most of the people who play this game are, are broke college students who honestly should get a job, you know, like flipping burgers or, or something, you know. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video.